Hey everyone, welcome to the Seattle Coffee Gear YouTube channel. I'm John and today we're talking about our top three accessory picks for this year. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video. Of course, we always have a fourth pick in our top threes and this one is one that I have long had a unique opinion about and I'm actually changing my mind. So be sure to stick around to the end and see what we're gonna be talking about. Before we get started, take a second and subscribe to our channel. This is really helpful, especially if you're in the process of looking for your next piece of coffee equipment. This is a great way to get notified about when we post new videos, about new products, product recommendations, how to maintain equipment, and we're always giving helpful tips on how to make the best coffee possible. So take a second, subscribe to the channel, and then let's dive right in. First up on our list of accessories is the Rocket Espresso All-in-One Tamper Distributor. This is a really handy piece of equipment to easily level up your espresso game at home. The purpose of a distribution tool is there in the name. It's to redistribute the grounds in your portafilter in order to achieve a more even density in the puck. When water hits your coffee, it follows the path of least resistance. If your puck has uneven density or is high in one spot and low in another spot, water's going to follow that path of least resistance and it's going to over extract some areas where water is interacting with the coffee more and it's going to under extract other areas. That leads to uneven flavors in the cup where you're getting some sourness, some bitterness, maybe some sweetness, but it's just unpleasant. A distribution tool will help with that. This tool from Rocket is handy because it's a tamper on one side and a distribution tool on the other. Both sides can have their depths adjusted to work better for differing amounts of coffee. It is important to be sure that you're using the correct basket for the dose size that you're using. If you're using a triple basket with 16 or 17 grams of coffee, this might not go deep enough to effectively distribute or tamp that coffee bed. Because of the way this tool is set up, it uses the rim of the basket to achieve the depth for the tamper and the distribution tool. This also creates a really level surface. Getting a level tamp is much more important than hitting a specific pressure. So if you use this tool, it's gonna very easily improve your coffee quality. If you have non-baristas in your home and you want them to make the same quality of shots as you, grab one of these tools, show somebody how to spin it real quick, then just push it down until it hits the base of that basket and they're all set. Next up on our list of accessories is the new Eureka Precisa scale. I had to bust out my best, which is probably terrible, but my best Italian pronunciation to talk about this one. But it's a really cool new affordable scale that Eureka is offering. Based on the size of it, it's really designed to be used for espresso, to sit in a drip tray with a shot glass or small cup on it. But you could definitely use it for other things like a single cup pour over, or if you have a tamping mat, you could get creative with that and use it to weigh out grounds in a portafilter. Even though it's less expensive than some of the more premium options from Akaya or those other brands, it's still really well made. It's USB rechargeable, it has a metal base, so it's pretty sturdy, and it has accuracy up to a tenth of a gram for great espresso capability. Let's move on to our ultimate pick, the fellow EKG Pro Studio. Here we go. This made our list as our ultimate pick because it's the newest version of the classic EKG kettle from Fellow. This kettle has long been the favorite of your local barista, at their specialty coffee shop, or my own favorites, what I use at home for pour overs. It's got their great gooseneck design that has a really nice flow rate to precisely control that water for great tasting pour overs. It's still super accurate when it comes to temperature. It's really easy to adjust and looks great. The pro model of this kettle already added some cool features like auto on programming so that the kettle can be nice and hot for you before you wake up in the morning. 
as well as a little chime that alerts you when the kettle has reached your desired temperature. Studio in the name of this means that they updated the base of the kettle. Previous models had the same kind of matte black, soft touch plastic base. This new studio version gets an updated glossy base. This black glossy base looks beautiful in person. If you have a coffee bar that's really prominent in your home, this could be a good option for you. It looks great. You really won't mind leaving this out. That wraps up our ultimate pick. Now I teased it earlier, let's move on to our bonus pick. It's something that I was on the fence about for a long time, but recently started using in my coffee prep at home. It's a WDT tool, so let's jump right in and talk about it. WDT stands for Weiss Distribution Technique. For the longest time in my coffee prep at home, I've just been using tapping. It's simple, you don't need any extra equipment, and for the longest time, it worked really well for me. I knew I was gonna be talking about one of these, and so I picked one up for myself, and I've been using it every morning when I make my coffee. I have to say, it makes a huge difference. I found that when I was using this tool, I was able to brew at a higher temperature, and I was able to extract for longer without getting unpleasant notes of over extraction. We talked about distribution earlier with that rocket tamper distributor, and this does that same thing, but a little bit more effectively. It's a little bit trickier to use because there is some technique involved with it, but once you get familiar with it, it's pretty simple to use. It helps to better distribute your puck so once you stir your puck with the needles on the end of this, you achieve a very even density throughout the whole puck. Typically, I'll stir it around a few times so I get it nice and flat and level, and then I'll give my portafilter a few solid taps on the countertop to collapse any air pockets before I tamp. I'd encourage you to try out one of these devices if you are a skeptic like me. This option from Luca looks beautiful in this little stand and works exceptionally well. I was able to grind a little bit finer and I upped the brew temperature for some of the same coffees I had been brewing and I found I was able to extract more out of those coffees. I got more sweetness, more richness, more depth of flavor without getting into that bitterness or acrid or more astringent, unpleasant characteristics of those coffees. Well, that wraps up our fourth pick, but I do think that any of these accessories could be a good upgrade for you on your home coffee bar. Have you used one of these yourself or something similar? Leave a comment down below and let me know your experience. I'd love to know your thoughts on the two distribution tools we featured here. Like I mentioned before, make sure to subscribe to the channel and while you're at it, in the description of this video, you can also sign up for our email newsletter. As a thank you for signing up for that, we'll send you a coupon good for 10% off your whole purchase. There are some exclusions to that code, so make sure to contact one of us on the sales team, either by call or by email or chat. We'd be happy to talk with you about anything coffee, about your next purchase, or just getting started from scratch. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Like I said, drop a comment down below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, sign up for the email newsletter, I hope you have a great rest of your day and keep making coffee you love.